Okay, my friends, so here we are at Mud Fossil University, and I have been, if you have been following, I have been looking for eternity, because I am headed there before too long, <laughs> as we all are. Now, uh, mine are probably going to be a little sooner than yours, perhaps, but still, I want to get to the right place, and maybe you do, too. That is what I am endeavoring to do. Now, I have a plethora of highly informative you know, videos that show things that nobody has paid attention to. Now, are they important? I don't know. But I do, and I was worried about presenting. I want to tell you the truth. I was worried about it. And I looked and it says that nothing is, was hidden will, be, will stay hidden. I said, well, that's okay. That works for me. So I said, well, I'm not going to hide anything. And then the other thing, there was something else that happened. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, about the rocks. Uh, Luke 1940, I think it says something about um, if they tell me to be quiet, the rocks themselves will speak out. And that's absolutely what's happening right now. Quack, 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 goose, 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 whatever they do. I make that kind of goose noise or duck noise or whatever they do. But the rocks themselves are absolutely speaking out. I have them in copious quantities that are being denied. Exactly what was written, 100% of what was written. And the same thing about the the academics. I mean, it's a terrible thing, but it says in, in two, I think it's 2 Peter 2.4 or something, um, the um, teachers, their destruction does not sleep. In their greed, they will will feed you false stories, and not pay attention to the truth. And and their destruction does not sleep. I didn't make those words up. Look it up. Anyway, we're going to go into what I'm hoping is going to lead me into eternity. It'll lead you anywhere you want it to lead you. But you can just walk away right now if you like. But I'm looking as deep as I can look. Laugh, do anything you want. All right, so I think I think we're getting close on this now. So let's recap. The beginning times, somehow everything got created. Satan ruled over in the beginning. He said, "No, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm done with all this business with you. I'm taking over." God said, "You're done." He take God takes over, and at that time destroys the earth and starts over they make adam out of the clay of the earth which is the giants and titans then he says don't screw around with these people to the angels do not do this again it was a disaster last time or i don't know if it happened the last time that way but don't screw around with them because their dna has all this giant stuff in it well it says there was giants in the earth in those days, and then later there was more giants when they did it again, or did this time. You know, these new angels went into the DNA of the old angels, and instead of just having kids, they had giants. And, and anyway, so, um, so then God says, you're done, Satan. I'm going to put you in hell, and I'm going to close your case. And Satan says, I tell you what, you think you made something special? I, I, could, I could take all these people away from you. I can make it so that when you pass judgment on them, there won't even be anybody to judge because they're all going to be standing over in front of me. And God says, you think so? And he says, yes, I do. He says, I'll tell you what. You go about your business, and when, when we get to the end days, you see, I'll let you tempt them. You go ahead. He said, I could destroy your humanity. I'd make, it, I'd make a mess out of this. I'd make them kill each other. I'd make them bomb. There'd be people laying in the streets starving. Nobody will care. How would you like that? God said, no. Nah. He said, do what you can. I'll take the good ones. If you can do that to them, I don't want them. All right, so that's what happened. So at judgment, each guy gets his cut. I'm hoping to go with God because, I mean, he said, if, if God's the one to send his son Jesus down here, he was the nicest one that I found. I mean, really, you look back at through history, it is a mess. It's a, it's a disaster. It's, today, same thing. There's, there's no honesty. There's no... Forget about it. I'm not going to go down that route. Anyway, you know, hell might be a nice place, but I, not. <laughs> I don't think so. Jesus was nice. He was really nice. 
I'm going to live for him. Now, I've been talking about bacteria being the thing that controls our life. I don't think so. I think it's the water now. God's spirit was on the water. It was God's spirit was on the face of the water. That's what it is. The water is what, and they say it's intelligent. The water is intelligent. It can, it, it, when it passes by you, it starts to pick up on you. I'm telling you. This uh, Emoto, I think his name was Emoto. There's a bunch of people doing this research right now. Absolutely fascinating. And uh, I have a very powerful microscope. I've been thinking about doing some... Um, you, you take the ice crystals. What happens is what you do. You make do all kinds of different things. They have activated water now. They have easy water. They have all kinds of different types of water that's been affected by different processes. Let's just go with that. Some of it is electro electrical. Some of it is um, some of the, the, the their minerals coming out of the ground. You know, which is the bodily fluids. Everything that's coming out of the ground is bodily fluids. You want to see something? I'll show you some bodily fluids out of the ground. Hold on. All right, this is an earthquake in Turkey. This just happened. I guess it's a pretty bad earthquake. Now, coming out of here, look, watch this. And this is happening all over the earth. It's not just here. All right, it's cracking into the earth. And that, I guarantee you, if you tested that, that is blood, red blood. That's what comes out is red blood. Something in there broke through an area like a, a heart or a lung. I'm telling you, that's just the way it works. You see this? This is Antarctic. This is Blood Falls. Look at this. This is that's blood. A hundred percent. I get one hundred percent. I guarantee you, if you go up and check that, there will be blood cells in here. Now look for for years. They say, oh no no, that's just algae, just red algae. Mystery of blood falls solved. Red color is iron, not algae. That's solved. Of course it's iron, because that's what's in your blood. <laughs> and you say, oh, Roger, nothing could be that big a blood vessel like that. Well, I say, well, what about this one here? That's a blood vessel. Leaked out a bunch of blood. All right, they're looking at it. Now, that dried out. But if that was way down in the ground, I'm telling you, that would gush. And that's not even a big one. I'm not lying. I am absolutely not lying. These things could gush bloods for months, gallons and gallons and gallons a second. I'm telling you, the size of these creatures is just so far beyond average imagination. And the average imagination is assaulted by this. I understand that. But you're going to have to get over it. It's not going away. It's not wrong. It's a fact. Now, how does it affect your life? That's up to you.